Hello F11 members. What I'd like to do in this video tutorial to accompany the lowdown series we've been running on exposure is translate it all into what we do with our cameras and how we read our histogram displays out here in the field or rather in the woods. I've been commissioned to produce a series of landscapes in this woodland over the course of a year uh, and I want to on this afternoon make take advantage of the fact that here in mid-May the woods are just bursting with fresh green verdant growth. I've deliberately chosen an overcast afternoon because that low contrast lighting is just what I need to photograph here in these woods. Using the new 100 to 400 mil lens here, uh, switch the stabilizer off, switch auto focus off. So I've now got the shot set up, time to just check my focus and of course assess my exposure. Let's just uh, check I've got everything level, of course. So that's the shot I'm going for. If I just rely on the camera's metering system to give me, at the indicated exposure, an exposure setting, I'm going to do that now, I'm sure to get a perfectly adequate and usable exposure. So if I just look at that image now, using the playback, that's the shot I've just done. And if I now press on Canon, if I press Info, I get the RG, sorry, the brightness histogram up. If I press it again, I get the brightness histogram and the RGB histogram. And looking at this shot now, looking at this histogram, you can see there's absolutely nothing wrong with that exposure at all. It's perfectly acceptable. There's no clipping of highlights or shadows. So if I look now at the histogram display, what it's showing me for this particular picture is the range of tones in the picture. From on the left a pure black to on the right a pure white. And what we want in an ideal world is the toe of the histogram on the left to be up against the left-hand extreme, indicating that the darkest tone in the picture is a pure black, and at the opposite end of the scale, the brightest tone is a pure clean white. Now there's nothing wrong with this picture because it's indicating that there's no clipping of shadows or highlights. So now I'm just going to dial in massive underexposure using the exposure compensation. I'm going minus two stops exposure here. And if we look at the histogram for that shot, you can see it's bunched way to the left with clipping of colors here in the shadows. Now I'm going to deliberately overexpose the picture and I've dialed in using exposure compensation plus two stops of exposure. If we look at the histogram display now, you can see the histogram is bunched massively to the right with clipping of highlights. And if I go to the full screen display, you can see where the blacks are blinking. That is my highlight alerts telling me that I am clipping highlights and losing information in these key areas. It's really worthwhile switching on in your menu your highlight alerts to help you uh, obtain the perfect exposure. But the histogram here is telling me the same thing. You can see those tones there on the right, falling off the edge of the display. Clearly, that's 
an exposure that I just couldn't work with. So what is the perfect exposure? Now, if I go back to the indicated exposure, what the camera's meter wants me to set, I've got an exposure there that is perfectly usable. And yet, there is the scope to give it more exposure, i.e. a touch of overexposure, without clipping of the highlights, because I can see I have a gap on the right where the histogram display would allow me to just give that touch more exposure. So I'm going to experiment now with dialing in plus two-thirds exposure compensation. So I've just done that, and if you look at the histogram display now, what we can see is that it's moved to the right. The actual display itself looks much brighter, almost too bright really, but I'm not really concerned with that. If I go back to the actual histogram display, I can see there that I'm not really losing any information at all. The green is right up against the edge of the display here. Any more and I would start to clip the highlights, particularly in the green channel. But I'm pretty confident with this exposure that that is the perfect one. So what's the advantage of giving it more exposure? Surely the first exposure was perfectly fine. Well, this is what's called exposing to the right. And by giving the picture as much exposure as I can, i.e. leaving the shutter open as long as I can, getting the maximum amount of light to hit the sensor without burning out highlight detail, the better the signal-to-noise ratio is and the more information I'm recording in this precious RAW file. Every time I press the shutter release on this camera, I'm not making a picture, I'm capturing tonal and colour information, and I want as much of that precious information as possible. The more tonal and colour information I've got, the better. It has massive ramifications when it comes to making the most of my camera's capabilities. The payoff, if I get my exposure right, not just right, but the best possible exposure I can make, is that I get the most tonal and colour information possible. And that helps me to produce big, beautiful prints with lovely, lovely gradations of tones, really vibrant colours, rich shadow detail and sparkling highlights. Understanding what the histogram is showing me is, of course, crucial. We've already talked about the gradation of tones that it's showing and using it in tandem with the highlight alerts. Also, I like to have the full RGB display here on show because that helps me check that there's no clipping of hideout a shadow or highlight information going on in any of the colour channels. A lot of people worry about the actual shape of the histogram display itself. And as I explained in the Lowdown series, that shape is actually determined by the subject. There's nothing we can do to actually change that. What this is showing us is the range of tones in the picture and which the tones with the most number of values will have the highest elevation on the curve. One thing to remember, of course, is that what we're looking at now, despite the fact that I'm shooting RAW, as is indicated by this display here, these histogram displays are actually for the JPEGs. So what does that mean? Well, in practice, it means that I could afford to clip some of the highlights with my highlight alerts telling me that I'm losing that information and yet still get it back. The RAW file has about one stop more dynamic range than does the JPEG. Uh, so that's something always to remember when exposing. Now, of course, 
in this low contrast lighting situation, I've been able to expose to the right, to dial in positive exposure compensation to maximize my signal to noise ratio. But if I was shooting in high contrast lighting, if the sun was coming through here now, I couldn't do that because immediately I'd start losing highlight information and clipping detail. So exposing to the right is really only an option in lower contrast situations. So to recap, highlight alerts on, aperture priority, and then do a test shot and assess the histogram. And if there is the scope to give it more exposure by dialing in positive overexposure compensation to move the histogram to the right, then that is a beneficial thing to do because it maximizes the signal to noise ratio and means we're capturing more color and tonal information.